Hey guys, today we are out at Bubba Coos here in Orlando. Bubba Coos Burritos. I'm ready for a burrito, some chips, some guacamole. Let's do it. All right, welcome on back, guys. We're ready to jump into some Bubba Coos burritos here. Uh, I got everything to go. We're on the run today, but real quick before we jump into some food here, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll always be updated on new food videos. But let's do it. All right, so here we go. This is what we got here. A uh, nice little takeout bag. And inside, I got just a few things to try. Simple and sweet. So. Inside, you got another bag with a burrito. I got the Nashville Hot Burrito, which I am like, I am just chomping at the bit here to try that. Uh, we got a bag of chips. They already have those ready. Um, and then I got some guacamole, so we're gonna try that. But first, let's jump into the chips and guacamole, right? You gotta do the appetizer first. Okay, so here's the guacamole. There we go. Let's see here. I am like just just ready for this stuff. The chips. Let's try a chip by itself. Firm. It's got a unique kind of seasoning on it. It's almost like a lime. I don't know. Let's do it with the with the guacamole. Guacamole. Here we go. Very creamy. It's got like the the cilantro. You can see it in there. Some onions. It's pretty good. I almost so would like some chunkier. You definitely see the, the cilantro, fresh cilantro in it. Um, I would like a little more, maybe avocado. The chunks, it's, it's maybe a little more pulp. But nonetheless, it's addictive. And you see the salt, the chip, some of the good seasoning and salt on the chips kind of the assembly line type deal, like sort of like a Chipotle in terms of the process. Um, and same way, kind of how they fold the burritos. But let's try that thing. I'm just, I gotta try this Nashville hot. So here it is. I mean, it's massive. I think huge. But, it's like double foil, double foil wrap. But drum, drum roll. All right, here she is. I don't know how I'm going to eat this here. It's probably, it's probably a mistake eating this on the run, but I'm going for it. So let's dive in. Okay. First bite, I got mostly tortilla. But you can see what's going on inside. The pickles, rice, the chicken. Let's try it. Wow, I've never had Nashville hot chicken. That's kind of the popular thing here now. But I've never really tried it at any restaurants. But it's spicy. Um, now the only thing, well, this is a huge meal here. This is filling. Um, I always would opt for no rice or less rice if you order. Because the rice, to me, takes away from everything else. It's kind of like a filler. I haven't had a, a burrito from Chipotle. I think they do the same thing, like, with, just they put a lot of rice in it. I'd rather have less rice and more, like, the meats and maybe, uh, you know, the sauces and things. But, I mean, there you see the... You know, 
serve sort of that spicy sauce. So I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the Nashville hot in a burrito. I think Nashville hot is probably something good, like served maybe on its own, like chicken strips or something. I don't know about in the burrito, just my personal opinion. I get the pickles, the rice, um, all that stuff in there. But for me, I think it's more, I think I would be going more for the um, traditional chicken, like a spicier chicken. They have different options in there. I think they have beef, chicken. I'm gonna, of course, put a link in the description, but I would say it's spicy. It's definitely got some spice, but it's not like, for me, I think I'm more of like having a burrito, more toasted maybe. Uh, but I think this is the style, kind of like a Chipotle. This is just the, the way they make them. But not bad, but just not my, you know, here's a, I'll just try a piece of the chicken by itself. There's the Nashville hot. But I would, I would like it to be a little more crispier, I think, the chicken. By itself, it's not, it's, it's crispy, but not like as crunchy as I would have expected. Okay, so anyway, you know, I'll finish this up later. It's a huge burrito. Overall, I'd have to give, um, you know, Bubba Coos burritos, I would say on my scale, probably about a seven out of 10. Okay, not a bad meal. It's, you're gonna get a lot of food. You're gonna get a lot of chips. You're gonna get a, plenty of the guacamole to go along with that. The burritos is massive. Um, however, I think for me, I would, I like something a little more melted, a little more um, crispier, like a burrito, like a crispy burrito shell just just cook differently this is all done on the assembly line which is fine there's different items to try but overall i think not not the best burrito i've had but not bad so worth trying out is pretty fast service um they have about i think two or three locations in orlando one obviously here at sand lake road and john young parkway there's another one um out over in the dr phillips area on daryl carter parkway uh and i think palm parkway out that way and then I think there's one in Lake Mary, which is on the other side of the world here from where I'm at. And then I think there's another one in Florida, maybe South Florida. Uh, but there's a couple, I think. So anyway, I'll put a link for the description in there so you can check out the menu, check out kind of their story. I know they started, this company was started in 2008 uh, by two gentlemen. And they started it basically during when the whole housing market collapsed. So I always say, man, anybody can start something that has the guts to go all in. And they've done pretty well. I think they, they're in 10 states. They got a decent number of restaurants that are open. Uh, so that's always good to hear, to hear them being successful. So overall, you know, again, it's not a bad experience, not the best experience, kind of in between um, for me, you know, but definitely worth trying out. I think if you like Chipotle, like I've never gone to Chipotle a lot, but I think if you like Chipotle, this is definitely worth trying. I would give them a shot because it's, it's along the... Um, similar lines with how it's done so anyway again don't forget to like and subscribe i'll make more videos uh put some comments drop some comments below on what you thought is there something else that you would like me to maybe try sometime let me know send me a comment i'd love to give that a shot so anyway have an awesome day and stay amazing